Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says a point P with coordinates x, y moves so that the sum of its distances from the point S with coordinates 4, 3 and S dash with coordinates minus 4, 3 is 10. Find the equation of its locus and show that it is an ellipse. Before moving on to the solution, let's see the general equation of an ellipse which is given by ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. This is the general equation of the ellipse. It is a second degree equation and the constants a, h and b are such that x square is less than a, b. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Let's now proceed with the solution. In the question we have a point P with coordinates x, y and a point S with coordinates 4, 3 point S dash with coordinates minus 4, 3 now modulus of SP is given as square root of that is we find the distance between the points P and S and this would be given as square root of x minus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square. Then modulus of S dash P that is distance between the points S dash and P is given as square root of x plus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square. As in the question it's given that this point P moves such that the sum of its distances from the points S and S dash is given as 10. So we can say modulus of SP plus modulus of S dash P is equal to 10. This means that square root of x minus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square plus the square root of x plus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square is equal to 10. Now this could be written as square root of x minus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square is equal to 10 minus square root of x plus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square. Now next squaring both sides we get x minus 4 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to 10 square that is 100 plus the square of the square root it would be x plus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square minus 2 into 10 which is 20 into square root of x plus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square. Now this y plus 3 whole square and y plus 3 whole square cancels and further we have x square minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 100 plus x square plus 8x plus 16 minus 20 into square root of x plus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square. x square cancels with x square. 
16 cancels with 16. So we now have 20 into square root of x plus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square is equal to 100 plus 8x plus 8x. So we now have 20 into square root of x plus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square is equal to 100 plus 16x. Now further squaring both sides we get 20 into 20 is 400 into square of the square root is x plus 4 the whole square plus y minus 3 the whole square. This is equal to 100 plus 16x the whole square which is 100 square plus 2 into 100 into 16x gives us 3200x plus 16x the whole square. So we now have 400 into x square plus 8x plus 16 plus y square minus 6y plus 9 the whole is equal to 100 square that is 10,000 plus 3200x plus 256x square. So now we have 400x square plus 3200x plus 6400 plus 400y square minus 2400y plus 3600 is equal to 256x square plus 3200x plus 10,000. Now this 3200x and 3200x cancels. 6400 plus 3600 is 10,000. This cancels with this 10,000. So we now have 400x square minus 256x square plus 400y square minus 2400y is equal to 0. That is we now have 144x square plus 400y square minus 2400y is equal to 0. Now we take 16 common on the left hand side. So we have 16 into 9x square plus 25y square minus 150y this whole is equal to 0. So this gives us 9x square plus 25y square minus 150y is equal to 0. And this is the required equation of the locus. Now 9x square plus 25y square minus 150y equal to 0 is compared with the general equation of the ellipse which is ax square plus by square plus 2hxy plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Now in comparing these two equations, we get that A is equal to 9, B is equal to 25. And as in this equation, we don't have any term containing x, y. So this means that h would be 0 in this case. And also we find that 2f is equal to minus 150. Which means that we have 
एस इक्वल टू माइनस सेवेंटी फाइव एज इन द की आइडिया वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टेटेड दैट दिस इज द जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ द इलेक्स वेन द कॉन्स्टेंट एक्स स्क्वेर इज लेस दैन ए बी सो वी नाउ चेक एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस ए बी विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो माइनस नाइन इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव विच इज लेस दैन जीरो दैट इज वी हैव एच स्क्वेर माइनस ए बी इज लेस दैन जीरो वेर फोर बी इक्वेशन नाइन एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव वाई स्क्वेर माइनस वन फिफ्टी वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज दी equation of an ellipse so this is the required locus and this is the equation of an ellipse hence we say that 9x square plus 25y square minus 150y equal to 0 is the required equation of the locus and it is an ellipse so this completes the session hope you have understood the solution of this question